Hello and welcome to my vlog. This vlog will be about uh, the seven plots of screenwriting and film. Today I'll be talking about all the seven plots that many screenwriters and filmmakers follow to create some of their films. The first plot we're going to look at is Overcoming the Monster. In this plot, the character sets out to defeat a villain or monster which threatens the character's homeland, family, or their one true love. Many of Hollywood films follow this basic plot. I'll let you just think about how many Hollywood films actually follow this plot for a second. Any of the Taken films follow this overcoming the monster plot, or the character has a possession of theirs taken from them that holds significance to them, e.g. secret information that's been taken by the villain and the character has to defeat the villain in order to get it back. The next plot we're going to take a look at is Rags to Riches. In this plot, the character obtains something that everyone wants, e.g. fame, money, or love, but when they hit the peak of their happiness, it's all taken away from them, and they lose it all in a short period of time. But the only way they can get it back is if they find themselves and become a better person. A lot of chick flicks follow this, e.g. The Devil Wears Prada. The next plot we're going to take a look at is The Quest. This, in this plot, the character goes on a journey to a certain location to get a specific item or to complete a certain task that they have been set. A good example of this is the Lord of the, the Lord of the Ring trilogies, where Frodo and his companions must destroy the One Ring, or in Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, where Harry has to find the Chamber of Secrets. The next plot we're going to take a look at is Voyage and Return. In this plot, the character must travel to a far unknown land, and along the way, they encounter many difficulties but overcome them so they can go back with the knowledge they have learned during the voyage. For example, in Alice in Wonderland, where Alice falls down the rabbit hole and tries to make her way back home, or in, Wizard, in The Wizard of Oz, where Dorothy tries to go back home. Um, the next part we're going to take a look at is comedy. A comedy plot normally always has a funny, light-hearted character um, for the audience to enjoy watching, but this character is involved in some kind of drama which continues to grow throughout the film and becomes more confusing and chaotic for the character until it concludes with a nice ending. E.g. any bad film with Adam Sandler in, or Bruce Almighty with Jim Carrey, which is actually quite a good film. Next plot we're going to look at is tragedy. In this plot, the character is a hero, but he or she has a major character flaw, which will be the end of them. A good example of this is a wolf, a wolf, Wolf of Wall Street. The flaw. The flaw this character has is greed and this, um, just greed for more money, really. Bit of shit. It's like me. Yeah. I've got greed for more greed money. For more dollar. For dollar, dollar. Um, a good example of this is in The Wolf of Wall Street. The flaw this character has is greed for more money and that will be what defeats him in the end. The next plot we're going to look at, and the final plot, is Rebirth. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was four or five minutes itself, so we can cut to a different cut if you want. Still need to do about Rebirth. Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. So yeah. we end this and do it again. Yeah. Yeah.